Hey, 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 everybody. Thanks for joining me on my channel today with Amy's Creative Acrylics. I'm Amy. Hello, hello, hello. Today I'm going to do a pour. And this is on a... <clears throat> This is a 20 by 30 inch canvas. Sorry. <laughs> I just kind of lost my track of mine there. 20 by um, 30 inch artist box canvas. I'm just going to use some fun colors today. I already have white um, artist box acrylic flow white down for my base. I'm going to be using <clears throat> Liquitex Basics. Um, Fluorescent pink, Liquitex Basics light blue violet, Liquitex Basics fluorescent red, and Liquitex Basics purple gray. I had a lot of compliments on the one that I did, I don't know. It was last week or so, two weeks ago, whatever, um, with the neon color. So I'm just going to do something fun like that. Sorry if I'm blocking the camera here. I'm just trying to reach under here and get some of these air bubbles popped. I do thank everybody for joining my channel today. Hopefully you will enjoy the video. Um, and you will like and subscribe. Get this out of there. And then comment if you have any suggestions or ideas of anything you think I should try differently or something. Yeah, but anyway, so here we go. So I'm gonna start off with the, the purple gray. Everything's mixed with Floetrol and water. I do have some um, in the white. I have um, <clears throat> Liquitex Gloss Porian Medium. <coughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> Get a tickle in my throat. Um, yeah. So let's see. So I'm just going to kind of do some little shapes here. Nothing in mind particularly. Let me come over here a little bit. And some of the pink. These colors are so pretty. And some of the orange. just going to kind of start tilting. Hopefully I don't have too much on here. <clears throat> Maybe I should torch here real quick. Sorry about that. Don't want to have any air bubbles. You want to make sure you get those out if you see any. Sometimes you can you kind of tip your head to the, tilt your head to the side a little bit. They're a little bit more noticeable if you have some out there. So I'm just going to kind of start moving stuff around. Okay. 
I know that last one that I did with these pretty colors, like <laughs> I really didn't have to do a whole lot and it turned out so pretty. And sometimes those are the, you know, sometimes you don't necessarily have to work for hours and hours and hours at a painting to, to get, you know, what you like. So, <clears throat> I'm trying to decide if there's anything I want. This looks like a stingray. <laughs> Here's its tail. <laughs> it's fun when you get to see different stuff like that <clears throat> come up in the paintings. Kind of not really wanting that purple to be quite as big, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Stop that from happening. <clears throat> Swiping my fingers off here a little bit. And... <clears throat> I'm just going to grab a couple palette knives here just to kind of see. I think I like this, but I just feel like, I don't know, I don't know if I want to smear anything, but maybe if I just kind of <laughs> it looks like a face. <laughs> do um I think I'm going to take a little bit of pink <clears throat> Colors are so pretty, so vibrant. I'm just gonna come this way here a little bit and tip it back this way a little bit. I think I'm gonna have to fix these ends up here now that I've touched them so much. <laughs> Just grab some white here. Maybe I'm just gonna grab a palette knife and grab some of this white off the table. Just fix these edges here that that I touched when I was tilting. You'll have to tell me what you think. I kind of like it the way it is. I really don't really want to do a whole lot with it because I like the colors. I like the vibrance that I'm getting out of them. I like <clears throat> get some more of this white down here. I can fix this corner here. Yeah. 
I'm just going to torch it again. I think I want to use these colors in like a dustpan pour. I think that might be, oh, sorry about the dog again, gosh dang it. But I think that might be like my next I think that's what I'm going to do next for my next pour. I think I'm good here on the air bubbles. It looks pretty good. So I think now I'll just kind of let it set and yeah, but I like it. I think it's really pretty. It's fun. The one that I did before. was this one with some purple black, or it's not black, it's purple, the orange and the pink. And I, it was so simple and I just loved it. I love it so much. Like I love, I didn't get very many of those little pearly cells, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm not, I haven't done any yet with that technique or with that formula. So um, I've been watching a few different videos to kind of learn that that formula that um but because everybody does it so differently so <laughs> it's been kind of a tough one to learn but i do want to learn it but i'm just gonna leave this alone i'll bring it down here for a close-up <clears throat> see this one over here that i did i'm sorry about the windows that one turned out so good that video I'm gonna put up probably before this one here, so. But the colors are so vibrant, just so cool. Got one of those. <laughs> Ooh, there's a couple there. <laughs> Doesn't that look like a stingray though? With his tail? Now more so than before because it's un the purple went under the pink. <laughs> but yeah, yeah so y'all have to tell me what you think. And hopefully you liked the video. It was pretty simple. Not too... Sometimes you don't really have to work hard at them. Sometimes they turn out pretty good. Sometimes you gotta work a lot harder. <laughs> um, doesn't that look like a face? I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> but I do thank everybody for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and you will like and subscribe and share. I would appreciate it. And um, all my art is for sale. You can email me at amyscreativeacrylics at gmail.com. Um, I also have an Etsy shop and Instagram and I'll put all that in the description below. I have a lot more of my paintings um, on my Instagram. So if there's anything there, you can either DM me or go ahead and email me as well. But yeah, so thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good evening. Have a good day. Keep being creative. Bye.